system. All next on Live. Tuesday, September 17th, 2024. September 17th. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's We're almost at... it's almost Halloween. Right. <laughs> when do the Christmas decorations come out? Why are you bringing that up? I don't know. It's freaking me out. Is September, it freaking you out? It felt like it was just like September 2nd, it's just like 15 days ago. <laughs> uh, today is National Voter Registration Day. The it's single so most important. important thing you can do is uh, to register your vote. It's your right. You should vote. Yes. And um, everybody should get out there and do it. Yes. Yeah. Not only should you register, you should vote. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta do the follow-up. You can register till the cows come home, but you gotta actually <laughs> gotta vote, vote when you're done registering. <laughs> gotta vote. Um, you know what happened last night? Oh, I know. Here what in happened. New York City. I know what happened. Uh, Michael. Like Michael Gelman. Yes. Was honored for, get a load of this, 40 years of service with the Disney Corporation. That was a photo of, the, of Lori Gelman and Michael Gelman. Who's that guy in between? Who is that? Is that I believe that's, that's a Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Oh, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you know, that's a really nice Donald Duck plaque. Is, is that, that a plaque? plaque? That's a plaque, but yeah, no, I get a Donald Duck uh, statue. statue. Yeah, statue. I haven't gotten it yet. I would yeah. love I, a Donald, Donald Duck, Duck statue. Donald Duck is my favorite. I, a couple more years, Kelly. No, I don't, I don't think I can. I, I, you know, I actually looked at it and I go, it's too bad I'm not going to live to see that Donald Duck statue. <laughs> you can come and visit mine. I'll visit yours, yes. That's Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. Four decades. Yes. Yeah. I thought it was my 40th birthday, but I guess not. Wow. Wow, well, you were 15 years old when yeah. you started, started out with the company. as a young yeah. <laughs> intern here, yes. filled with hopes and dreams, yes. and watched them be crushed for four decades. It's been a fast 40. A fast has, 40, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Of yeah. course. Well, congratulations. Thank yeah, you. that's that's well deserved. Thank you. Do you get anything else? Like, is there a gold There's watch? There's a pin. A oh, pin. a pin. Yes. Oh. That's nice. Yes. Uh, there's oh. a pin and a plaque, yeah. A pin and a so will you, be, a will you be wearing the pin on your lapel? Is it a lapel every, pin? For every day I'm going to wear it, yeah. I would like to see I would it. I see it. I haven't gotten that Is it a Donald pin? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like oh it. Oh, my gosh. I like it. How Disney. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> While I was taping my podcast, mm. Let's Talk Off Camera. Who are you taping with? Rob Lowe. Oh. Over here, Rob Lowe. Wow. All new, all the time. <laughs> Rob Lowe. I don't know. Did you ask him what it's like to be that handsome for that long of a time? <laughs> I, it was the first question I yeah. asked. It literally was the first question I asked. And what did he say? And he actually referenced you. He oh, said, did I'm he? trying to keep up with Mark. Oh. And I said... And I said, Rob, you know, you're far older than Mark. So, you know, who knows what Mark will look like, you know, a decade from now. Yes. We don't know. But I'm uh, suspecting a lot like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so while I was doing that, uh, I, I came downstairs and uh, it was just me and the dogs. And, you know, it was one of those things where I'm like, where is everybody? Well, while I was doing that, you were hosting a conversation with Wilmer Valderrama yeah. at the Barnes & Noble uh, Union Square. And uh, Anne-Marie Donnellan from Bronx, New York, said Mark did a wonderful job last night at Wilmer's book signing event. So great to see him again. Again. Oh. <laughs> And what a pleasure to meet Wilmer, who was so sweet, so gracious, and very down to earth. He was. He is. Um, he's fantastic. The book is great. You know, I, 
I usually listen to my books uh, because I, I am do. such a slow reader, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm sure I'm dyslexic, so I, 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 I it's a, it's a hard thing for me to do. But I I raced that book in in like two days. Yeah, um, I was so impressed. Because I think if you're going to host a talk about a book, you have to read the book. Yes, I agree. You always know when the person didn't had, read the book hasn't read the book. Oh, a hundred percent. You know yes. what I mean? Yep. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it was great. He I'm had glad, a great I'm, turnout. I'm, yeah. I'm proud of him. He oh, wrote, that's yeah, so great. A beautiful book. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What, else, what, what else did Rob Lowe say about me? Oh, that was it. We just, oh, that, that was, was it. it. Yeah, we talked about other things. We talked about, uh, well, I don't know what I can say. I, I shouldn't say anything else because he revealed some things what? that are in the works that are very exciting. Really? Yes. Potential, uh, uh, potential. Uh, Saint almost fires. I can't Fire. talk about. It. I cannot. I Wait, neither can. Demise talked about it. I understand that. Well, she should have. I don't know what I can say. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. All I can say is. So let's, Rob let's Lowe go. is literally Benjamin Buttoning. Before. I, I watched him get 10 years younger during yeah. our one-hour conversation. Yeah, when he was here with his son, um, I couldn't believe how, how they both looked, the, you know, they look like brothers. Uh, it's yeah. wild. It's wild. It's really wild. It's wild. Yeah. What, so wait, wait, let's talk about St. Elmo's Fire for a minute. Okay. Do you think it's, so it's what, it's 40 years ago, that, that 30 years ago? I don't know. I say everything is 10 years ago because everything it was feels 40 like years 10 ago, years right? ago to me. Feels like 40. Yeah. Probably, yeah. So they're going to be 40 years older. Is that what's going to happen? Like the big chill, kind of, but older? 1985. So almost 40 I years. I can't yeah. do that kind of math. 39 what's years. 39 yeah. years. Okay. But they shot it probably, four, you know, 40 years ago. Yeah. I can't. I, I you don't can't know. talk about it. I can't talk about right. it. I can't talk about. I can't talk about who signed on to do it. I can't talk about any of it. Hey, there was a. Um, there's an earthquake in Texas. Uh, 5.1 wow. on the Richter scale. A rare, strong earthquake struck near Midland, Texas, Monday evening, triggering more than 1,000 reports of shaking. So, um, this, was there any damage? That don't doesn't say like, that there yeah. was any damage. 5.1 is that? Yeah. I don't, I'm not really up to date on those. Is, uh, that, is that a? It's something. It's, it's something. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, you'll feel it. What's yeah, the biggest sure. one we've had here? Oh, not that. Not that. I think four. Four. Four, four two or something. Like that. Yeah, right. but this is New York City. So there's two things that happen. You know, the earth shakes and people that live near the subways yeah. don't notice it at right. all. <laughs> right. If you live in a high traffic area, you don't notice the right. earthquake. Feels like a garbage truck going by. It feels yeah. like yeah. trucks moving things. Yeah. Uh, and then people that live outside of those areas really really, shake, really yeah. freak out because it's the first time they're uh, experiencing that level of shaking. Have you ever have you ever been near have you ever experienced yes. a sonic boom? No. Yeah. Have you done that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We lived near an Air Force base uh, in Illinois. I remember I was in my garage and you know how your garage doors they come down they have like a little space between the the tracks. Yeah. I just remember you the doors so? the doors went in and out. And boom, there was uh, uh, a jet that came too close by. I guess they shouldn't have done that, but I'm kind of glad they did. It was really cool. Wow. Yeah, sonic boom. Sonic you experienced boom. sonic boom? Yep. Where, what, what's your story, Michael? Uh, well, I've heard them a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. from planes overhead, from, you know. Inadvertently, they, they should, was, it, was it planned? Uh, I'm not sure. All I know Were is Were you in that Colorado? Uh, no, I was in Illinois, actually. You was in yeah. Illinois? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of interesting yeah. stuff happening in Illinois. What were you doing in Illinois? Illinois? He lived in I Illinois. I used to live in Illinois. Yeah, oh, we're, that's we're... right. I forgot he used to live in Illinois. That's right. He's from, right. Well, the land of Lincoln. Island Park. Yeah. 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 You'd be hard-pressed to find a state where Gelman did not live. In Illinois. <laughs> where there's always a moment where Gelman reveals that he lived in a different state. Listen, we have two little dogs, and we walk our dogs. But dog walking injuries surge 342% since 2001, an alarming study reveals. What's causing that? I can tell you. People are on their phone. <laughs> People are on their phone. Uh -huh. That's what I'm thinking that it is. Uh, and more dogs. Yes, don't multitask. Pro tip, don't multitask. Put your cell phone away. Put your cell phone away, please. And focus on walking the dog. You know what? Lena doesn't like when I'm on my phone. She tells me. She's like, pay attention to me. Is that what she, she says? She says that to me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can tell. She's looking at me like, what are you doing? And we're walking. I've got to do my stuff here. <laughs> and then sometimes she talks about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
knows she has a whole host of complaints <laughs> about you. Get in line. <laughs> I say the line forms to the left. Yeah. Line up. The indictments. Oh, the, the accusations. Indictments. The accusations yes. and the indictments. Yeah. Yes. Uh, anyway, be careful with your dogs when you're walking them. Yeah. Put your put your phone away. Yeah, just for exactly. a few minutes. Okay. Ten yeah, minutes, fifteen smart. minutes. Yeah. Showwise posted a picture of the uh, harvest moon rising last night, so I did what, <coughs> because I'm such a moon watcher and such a moon freak, You love it. I ran up to the roof last night, Mark said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to go up to the roof. She says, you want to come? I said, nope. I said, I want to watch the moon rise over the city. Do you want to come? No. And I stood up there for 10 minutes, mm -hmm. 20 minutes, half an hour. I've never seen the moon from our roof. 45 minutes, and eventually... I lost interest. <laughs> <laughs> and I just reposted Showwise. <laughs> I was sleeping, rising. right? When you came down, I was sleeping. Yeah, you I were, was out. You were in. Best sleep. You were, you Me were and Lena just hanging out. Nighty night. Nighty night. And I asked you a question. Do you remember? Nope. You go, yes, it was excellent. And went right back to sleep. And I go, he doesn't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's called husband reaction time. When they know they were sleeping and maybe they shouldn't be sleeping, but they know they, they might know the answer to the question, so they're just going to blurt out a response. Well, uh, anyway, there's a celestial trifecta tonight. Oh. Tonight. Because not only will we be in for uh, the September harvest moon, it's going to coincide with a super moon, also with a blood moon, and a partial lunar eclipse. Wow. So wherever you were last night, I need to get there Where tonight. Where were you? I was on the corner of 77th and Columbus. You have to go to the west what? side. got to go to the west side. <laughs> I gotta go to the west side. It was very low. I That's don't know that I want to go to the west side. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're gonna be on the west side tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're all gonna be on yeah. the west what side. What are we doing tonight? Well, t tonight we are having a celebration in honor of Art Moore. Yeah. yeah. I, I knew, I knew what we were doing. Yes, I knew what we were doing. It's not really so much of, as a celebration as it is an intervention. An intervention, yeah. We're going to intervene. And try to get him to change his mind. And talk him out of retirement. Do you have a speech written for tonight, Art? I have, I'm not going to get into that. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's just a you know what I say? Yes or no. When in doubt, wing it. <laughs> wing that's it. what I always say. Wing it. Let's say wing half, it. half wing. Yes, okay. that's a half wing. Um, you know... Well, I, I'll tell you about it tonight. I'll tell you about it tonight, but it will make you laugh. Before we go uh, to the billboard, I just want to show you this because this is the feel-good story we've all been waiting for. Everybody needs to see. A baby hippo is taking the world by storm. Uh, her name is Mudang. She's a two-month-old pygmy hippopotamus. Oh, I love it. And... Uh, Aww. And she is, without a doubt, the cutest little thing. Um, her name means, in Thailand, Bouncy Pig. Oh, Bouncy Pig. <laughs> she has a great skin. She's got a great yeah. smile. Skin regimen. Look at that. Yes. It's very, very <laughs> dewy. Nice and shiny and dewy. Very dewy. Yes. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. I was surprised Michael, our son, didn't send oh, I'm me a sure picture he, I'm of sure he, I'm sure he knows all about yes. it. Yeah. I'm sure he knows all about it. Um, we've got a huge show today. Josh Gad uh, is here. Yeah. Hello, and, and Ashley Park is here. And listen to this. Mm. Record breaker week continues when we try to break the record for the most socks removed by a dog in one minute. Things I thought I would never hear or yeah. read. Oh, if you work here long enough, you'll it's hear amazing. and read it all. Okay. Uh, What's the number, the number to beat? The number to beat is 21. My question is, how do you know your dog has this ability? <laughs> how is that first introduced? This is an amazing dog, yeah. I think that I could, uh, I could have Lena break the record for the most... Uh, hair ties removed from a backpack in one minute. <laughs> you can do that next year. Okay, uh, if yeah, I put 85, she literally, when she sees my backpack, it is, it's like, 
I'm ready. I put it on the floor, and she goes, she knows, she knows exactly where. where they are, and she starts pitching them to, the, her, to herself. She throws them to herself, retrieves them, throws them to herself, <laughs> retrieves them. She doesn't throw them to me because she knows I take them back and puts, I put them and away. And then she comes to me and she goes, Dad, do you see what she's spending money on? All these hair ties. <laughs> I'm like, I know. <laughs> That's me breaking the budget on hair ties again. They're uh, usually free from the gym. Yeah, I know. FYI. Uh, Practically free. I yeah. pay for the gym membership. Right. But. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. It's the moment you all have been waiting for. It's time to play. Uh. All right. Let's say hello to Sherry Carr from O to. Udawa, Udawa, okay, Udawa, Tennessee, who watches the show on WTVC. She says she wants to stump me because it makes Kelly laugh. Oh my gosh, thank you. That is such a thoughtful, you know what, Sherry, that is the most thoughtful thing anyone has said all day. Sherry, good morning, Aww. how are you? Good morning, I'm so nervous. Don't, Don't be, be nervous. nervous. Hey. Look at you, you already got the sash, you got the money, you're the queen of dice. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Sherry, how do you pronounce that, the name of your town? Udawa. Udawa. Okay, cool. All right. Um, well, listen, you know how this game works. You've given us two statements. One is true, one is false. I have 60 seconds to figure out which statement is true. And if you stump me, you'll win this. And that. Here are Ch Sherry's two statements. I have owned six cars in my life, Ooh. or I play golf three days a week. All right, let's get into the cars. Uh, what what was the model and make of those cars that you owned? Oh, my goodness. Uh, there was a Chevy Camaro. I wrote Ooh. these down because I knew I would forget. Mm -hmm. um, a Nissan Maxima. Okay. A Chevy Suburban. Okay. A GMC Denali. Okay. A Mini Cooper. Ooh. And an infinity. Infinity. Nice. Okay. And what's your what's your golf handicap? Fifteen. Wow. Good for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you play three days a week. I do. We have a group of ladies that uh, in the neighborhood. And we all go out and play. What do you wear? Oh, I love to wear skort. Skort. A yes. skort. Skort. A yes. Skort. Um, yeah. Okay. And do you cheat at golf? No. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't like people that cheat at golf. Um, all right. Hmm. You know, I knew. I know in Tennessee it's pretty moderate. The temperatures are pretty mild down there during the winter, so I could think that you could probably play golf three days a week. Um, owning six cars in your life, that's pretty realistic, right? Yeah, and I, I feel like I know the stages of her life based on the cars. Yeah. <laughs> The Camaro? You know what I mean? Yeah, I wish you had said I Rock Z or yeah. something like that. Um, here's what I think. I think that you get together with the ladies and you play golf three days a week. Oh, you're wrong, Mark. <laughs> you are wrong, Mark. Woo! <laughs> All right. Congratulations. <laughs> I made, uh, you made Kelly laugh. You want a mug and a t-shirt. Now, let's see. I've known Kelly since she showed up on All My Children with that black punk rock. Yes. <laughs> You're the best, Sherry. And Thank guess you. what? I, saw, I knew the right answer. I mean, I don't know how I knew. I just knew because it was so obvious to me. And you tricked Mark, which will bring me laughs all day long. <laughs> oh, all right. So now let's see if we can win you a valuable trip. It's time for Great Getaways Travel Trivia. from British Columbia, Canada. Deja, spin that wheel to see what else Sherry's playing for. All right.
Okay, you're playing for a trip for two to the Hilton Rose Hall Resort and Spa in Jamaica. Yay. Seven days, six nights, it's all inclusive. It's a prize valued at $5,900. You have 20 seconds and only one guest, Sherry. Good luck. All right, Sherry, here we go. Where did we say has surpassed Paris as the most romantic destination in the world? Oh, goodness. Mm. Surpassed Paris yes. as the most romantic place in the world. Oh, I remember this. I can't think of it. Oh. Just think, just think. Just think. Oh, Montreal. Oh. oh. You know what? That's a great guess. It's wrong, though. I'm sorry. Um, Maui. Maui? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, I knew that. I know. I'm with you. I'm with you. When I heard it the first time, I'm like, Maui's great, but... Oh, God. <laughs> we were there with kids, though. It's different. You got to yeah, picture I mean, it as a honeymooner. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? Man, it's wonderful. It's so <laughs> romantic. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, we're sorry. No. Sorry, Sherry. But listen, there's exciting news. You'll now be entered into our grand prize drawing for a 13-day voyage to Antarctica, valued at over $42,000. Wow. You and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive a Typher Dome Air Fryer valued at approximately $500. So please pick a number between 1 and 153. Oh, 102. 102. 102. 102. Make up for your seat behind all the camera equipment. <laughs> uh, all right, Sherry, thanks for playing with us. When we return, Josh Gad is here. Stick around. Still ahead on Live, we continue Record Breaker Week when we attempt to break the record for the most socks removed by a dog in one minute. From Italy and Paris, Ashley Park. And coming up next. Oh, you'll be the first one. Good luck, all my right. love. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> And cool stuff. You know, I have a vague memory of that, yeah, that which is wild when you do something that big and it only resonates as a vague a memory. memory. Yeah, that yeah. was cool. Yeah, that was cool. He's one of our favorite actors, singers, and comedians, and authors. Please welcome back to the show, Josh Gad. <laughs> So fun. You can, can stick around today and be a part of our can world I? record. Yeah, do you, uh, how do you feel about a dog taking your socks off? Uh, it feels better than climbing up on this chair. Um, <laughs> I, I just want to say, I am still laughing about the fact that Montreal would be the most romantic city in the world. I heard that and I was like, is that a truth? Have you been there? Have you been there in the summer? I was, I was actually there this summer. Oh, oh. And, and you didn't and it, find well, it? And I'll tell you. It's a little romantic. It, it's not the romantic city in the world. I would say that it's not even top ten. You know why she said Like, that. I didn't go to Montreal and go, I want to make love. Like, I, I was like, I want to eat food. Yeah, yeah. Well, the reason she said that, because during that, mm -hmm. when we were talking about the mo most romantic cities in the world, we brought up Montreal. Oh, so you did this. And, yes, we did it. We so you spread this line. Yeah, we did. Mind. Okay, yeah. okay yeah. fair. How was your summer? Did you guys go, besides Montreal, <sighs> on any vacations? My summer was incredible. We went to, a pl do you guys know a place called Greece? Yeah. <laughs> we went to Greece. Greece is the word. <laughs> Greece is the word. My kids hated the fact that everywhere we went in Greece, I would sing a Danny Zuko song. <laughs> 
amazing. Are you the vacation dad that likes to take the kids to all like the historical sites? Are you that guy? Mark, I'm Clark Griswold. Uh, I, yeah. I really am. I'm brutal. So when you travel with me, there you need a vacation from the vacation. I'm that kind of father. And so <laughs> we went to Athens, and I'm a history buff. Oh. And I know, I look it. And I well, we went, and I was like, I've got to go to the Acropolis. Of course. It, but we had one day in Athens, and we went on a day that was, I believe, the hottest day of the year. And in Greece in August, that, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's right. To be the hottest hot day of the year. Day, yeah. Like, the theme was everything's on fire. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> I, there I am, and I'm dragging my kids through the Acropolis. Yeah. And they are like, the, we, is there a way to get a divorce from our father? Uh, yeah. Because we want that. <laughs> it, they were miserable. Just sweating. And I'm like, but isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Mankind did this. How old are they now? Uh, so Ava is 13. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. okay. And Izzy is 10. Remember yep. when they were little babies? Yeah, yes. I remember they're when they babies. were babies. But uh, they are the perfect, like, uh, anti-anything you want to do on vacation. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter what you, what you propose. They're, they're not going to be in No, it. they're like, well, you know what would be great today is uh, sleep. Yes. We'd love to sleep and lay out in the sun. That's right. And I'm like, nope, not a thing. Wrong family. You also wound up on stage with the Be uh, Beach Boys. I did. How did that happen? <laughs> I got a call from John Stamos. Never answer. Never answer that call. Yeah, yeah, never, I, don't, <laughs> don't answer if that you ever, call. If any of you ever get a call from John Stamos, just <laughs> hit <don't>. no. Um, <laughs> so I, John is like, so I'm doing this thing with the Beach Boys. John plays drums occasionally with the Beach Boys. He's very talented. Oh, he's never told us about it. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. And he goes, a bunch of my celebrity friends are going to come up on stage after. It's going to be great. Sia's going to be there. Nia Verdarlos, they're all going to come on stage. I'm like, great. Count me and my daughters in. Okay. So uh, somebody, a handler comes and gets me and brings me backstage. There is nobody backstage except for Jeff Ross and me and my children. <laughs> and my girls look at me and they're like, you told us Sia was going to be here. Yes. Who is this bald roast master? Why are we going on stage with him and no oh, one no. else? And I was like, girls, he's, there he is. I'm like, he's very, he's a very funny man, but I did lie to you. Um, so the girls, it's not in the video, but the girls, poor things were literally Literally at the front of the stage, being like ba 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 ba, and then mouthing all the other parts because they didn't know the words. Uh, so I, I really am a bad father. That's what I'm learning in this interview. Today. <laughs> all right, we need to take a break. We talk to when we come back. We'll talk to Josh about his new children's book. When we come back, stick around. Still ahead, alive from Italy and Paris, Ashley Barr. Doing what? Nothing to live TV. I know, that was scary. <laughs> that was so scary. Producers coming up and being like, we're killing the bit. Okay, All we're right. live. Congratulations. <laughs> we here, you're, repri you're reprising the role as Olaf in Frozen 3 and, and Frozen 4. 4. I am? That's so exciting. Yay, employment! <laughs> Yay, I love checks. How did you, um, how did you, how did you hear about this? I was on vacation, and they announced, there's something called D23, where they announce oh, like, yeah, all you know, the big yeah. things. Yeah. And so I'm in Greece, and all of a sudden my phone's blowing up, and people are like, oh my god, I'm so excited about Frozen 3 and Frozen 4. And I responded, so am I? <laughs> uh, I had no idea. Nobody thought to call us up and be like, oh, by the way, we're doing uh, two sequels to uh, your movie. Um, but I, I have since heard some things about it, and it is going to be unbelievable. I'm so excited about what they're what they're dreaming up right now. It's it's pretty incredible. Can't and, wait. Uh, are you, do your girls still get excited about Frozen, or do they never get excited about anything? No, else? they. Uh, if if I tell them it's Moana, they get very excited. Ah. Right. If I say I'm starring as the pig in Moana, they'll be like, "You've made it." Uh, but. <laughs> Frozen, they're sort of like, they take it for granted. Yeah, yes, right. they do. They're just like, well, oh, that's cool. Yeah, add it to the list. Yeah. Um, the kids at this age, you're, so you're going to back to school night, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, yeah, Tell no, us no, about that, because we're out of that stage. No more back to school So I right. went to back to school night the other day for my eighth grader, and I sat, you have to go to all of the classes, and you meet yes. with all of the teachers. And so the first class we went into was algebra, 
And oh. I kid you not, I broke into a cold sweat. And there were like problems to solve on yes. the table. And I pushed it to my wife and I said, I cannot be a part of this. Um, I, I really do. I'm like, an actor. I'm a, I they, don't yes. do math. They, guys, I can barely mathematically get up on this chair. Do you really think <laughs> that I can do equations? You know, when we would go, she would do the math. Oh, no God. Are, so are you, because I'm history English when it comes to homework. I'm usually the math guy. And Ava and Ida is math science. So That's so how we divvy I'm, it up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a story. I know this, I know the school. Okay. That my kids went to. I should and hope so, so. And so all of these dads, the dads, the, the mathematicians, guys. the finance guys, <laughs> are looking at this math equation on the chalkboard, and they're doing complex math. And I'm looking at it, and I was like, this school doesn't teach that kind of math. It's a riddle. <laughs> Those numbers are representative of letters. And I just have to figure out what the word know, is. What the word is. Yeah. These are words. They're not. And they're like, oh, okay, Kelly. And I figured out the math equation. Did and you? Oh my god. And By basically, the way, I'm a hero. I wouldn't okay? have been able to do either version of that. I would have been like, where's the nearest restroom? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a break. More with Josh when we come back. Okay a new children's book. It's called Picture Face Lizzie, and I've got to tell you, it is brilliant. Oh, thank you so Can much. Can you tell us how it came to be and the, the story? So, your kids are a little older. I, I don't know if you guys have younger children, but something that I've had to deal with is my kids are constantly coming to me and saying, can I get TikTok? Can I get Snapchat? Can I get Instagram? And they're young. And the power of their imagination is something mm -hmm. that I really, really hold dearly. Mm -hmm. And I'm always scared about them leaving behind that imaginative skill set and relying solely on yeah. electronics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote this book as a way to bridge the gap between their perspective and my perspective about well, all of my friends have this thing, why can't I? And you can, the thing I think to remember is that there's a healthy balance. And I, I just really felt strongly about this and I was like, I'm just gonna write it. And then I was terrified because I write the book and of course the first critics I'm gonna give it to are my girls. Right. Oh. And I read it to them, sweating bullets like I was back in algebra. And <laughs> they looked at me and they said, can you read that again to us? Uh, and I read it again, whoa. and the coolest thing was we were on vacation in Utah with their friends, um, and they had me read it to them. Oh, wow. And that's when I knew that I had hit on something, and my fear was like, is this gonna be pedantic? Is this gonna be something that the kids are like, I get the lesson you're trying to teach me? And it wasn't, they fully embraced it because it's from their perspective. When you wrote the book, where were you, and what was <laughs> happening in your life? So I, I was approached about writing this book from um, Penguin Random House. During the early days of COVID, I would get on Instagram Live or Twitter Live, the artist oh, formerly yeah. known as Twitter, and I would, um, I would read to kids. And so I fell in love yeah. with children's books. And uh, I got COVID one day. And my <laughs> wife banished me up to the guest house for uh, a week. And then two months later, I took Paxlovid and I got better. And then two months later, I got COVID again. Mm -hmm. And I said, I, remember that thing where you banished me? I'm not doing that again. So I checked myself into a really fancy hotel nice. and <laughs> pampered myself. Where you suffered from COVID for six months. <laughs> Yes, I had COVID by the pool syndrome. And, um, so you wrote this in a fever dream. So I really, I literally wrote it the, in one hour. I sat at my computer the first night that I was in this room and it just poured out of me. And I literally wrote this book that night wow. in a fever dream. Incredible. Yeah, crazy. Wow. Uh, well, you we got like creative COVID. <laughs> We love having you. And Greece, oh, next time, let's do it together. Yes, let's do it. Yes. That'd be fun. Let's bring the whole audience. Yeah. <laughs> Picture Face Lizzie, available Lizzie. every Greece from Montreal. Montreal. <laughs> get, get that book. Come up next, Ashley Park. <laughs> Join us on Friday on Live, where we bid a fond farewell to our very own Art Moore. Record breaker week. We want to. <laughs>
Đó, coi tới vậy nè Đâu rồi, đâu rồi, đâu rồi Ủa đâu rồi Các bạn ơi, nó cho nó cho thay dòng nước kìa Ủa, rồi nó lên được không ta À đây nè, lên được rồi Đâu, ủa Đâu xuất hiện sau lưng vậy Còn hai em nữa Ừ để mình đánh rồi mình nhảy lên đi Hình như được hơn đánh rồi trượt á Các bạn có thấy gì không Mình đã lên level Ừ và cái đồ quỷ Hello em Em có kinh ke không Sao mặt em nhìn đít nhăn vậy cô Lila Không sao không sao Mình quen với cái chết đột ngột này rồi Nên không sao đâu Đây, 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 đây Ê, chưa, 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 để lấy kiếm cái Chưa, từ từ, từ từ, từ 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 từ, từ từ Thấy chưa, 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 chưa Như các bạn đã hồi phục bớt, bớt cái Đánh nữa là ngẫm á Từ từ, 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 từ Ok Chiến Đó, đánh cho mình nhảy lên Mình đánh cho mình nhảy lên Ê, ê Trời ơi, quên Quên để ý Quên để ý Không sao các bạn à Càng khó thì càng thiết Các bạn chơi đánh ồn quá Ví dụ mình đánh trong im lặng được không Bái con này không? Ủa không phải Không phải lộn rồi Lộn rồi Chết rồi chết rồi chết rồi Lộn rồi lộn rồi Mày sao rồi sao Đánh thôi chứ sao vậy Ủa sớ xỉu rồi Đây Ừ vậy à